All right, welcome everyone. Let's start today in a seated position. Just letting go of wherever you were before class. So we wanna sit in whatever position is comfortable, be that Indian style, stacking one foot in front of the other, half lotus, or if you even wanna sit on your ankles or your feet with your knees in front, whatever feels great for your body. The most important thing is we wanna have that lifting up through our spine. So maybe we tuck a blanket, a block or a pillow underneath our hips. We're gonna let our shoulders hang down nice and low. And those palms again are gonna be in whatever position is comfortable. So maybe that's hands on the knees, palms to the sky, thumb and finger together, or even hands to the center of the body. Let's rest our eyes for a moment, taking the space to relax, to enjoy this time that you've carved out for yourself today. Remember, if the breath becomes shortened, it's uncomfortable with the eyes being closed, pick a point ahead of you to stare at or a piece of art to enjoy in your home, something that brings you peace and tranquility. Let's take a moment, big inhales through the nose, filling the upper lungs, the lower lungs, and then the belly. Letting that belly expand fully, nice deep breaths. And as we exhale, that navel draws towards the spine. Relax the space between the eyes, soften through the jaw, the neck, and the shoulders. And just take some big breaths here. We can always take the moment to inhale and then we can sigh as we exhale releasing energy in the body, releasing tension we might feel. And just taking a few more breaths. If you'd like, you can drop the chin towards the chest and just tilt the ears to the shoulder and then to the other side. Getting a little bit of a neck stretch here, starting to warm up our spine. Always gentle movements in our body, 70%, we say. Never pushing too hard. If you want, you can do a full circle with the neck or tracing a circle with the nose. One direction and then the other. And then dropping the chin towards the chest. We let those shoulders hang down for a moment. And then coming back up into that neutral position, letting a smile wash over. We'll inhale and lift those arms up to the sky. Reach, 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 hands together, and then palms down in front of the heart. Taking a deep breath. And then on the next inhale, arms up to the sky. And then we'll float them back down. Relax, take a moment. Focusing on our spine, lower back and hips today. Remember that lifting through the crown of our head is gonna be the most important thing. We'll start with just a gentle twist, taking that right hand across to the left knee or the thigh, lift and lengthen and then turn and twist. So bringing those left fingertips behind you, pointing them to the side direction. Remember in every twist, the length through our spine is what's most important while relaxing our shoulders down. We can keep our head in a neutral position looking to the side, or if you wanna complete that full spinal twist, look over the left shoulder and behind you. You might notice how your breath changes. In a twist, we wanna breathe all the way down to the belly as best we can. Two more breaths here. Really relaxing into each pose. Focusing on the alignment to heal our body. We've done this one before. We're going to keep our right hand where it is as we return back to center. Bring that left arm across to the other side. We're going to fold forward from our hips. So keep those hips grounded as best you can. Reach with the arms and then relax the head down. We can take the hands around the knees. We could even bring them to the floor. We're looking for a nice stretch around the shoulder blades here. 
and a lengthening through the lower back by keeping our hips glued to that blanket or mat, wherever you are. Really reach, reach, reach on that last breath here. And then we'll release the arms as we inhale and come up. Roll the shoulders back, sit up nice and tall. All right, we're gonna move into the other side. So this time it's left hand to the right knee or thigh. Right hand comes behind you or to the side direction. Lift and lengthen and then turn and twist, keeping that head neutral to the side or turning and looking over the right shoulder. Remember to focus on having length through your spine more than that twist. Checking in on your breath. Breathing all the way down through the belly. Let your shoulders hang down. That comes from that hand direction with that right hand, really letting it relax that side direction. Don't crank back too far. And just taking two or three more breaths here. And again, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So keeping that left hand where it is, we'll take that right hand across to the other side as we come back to center. Lift and lengthen and then fold from your hips. Reach those arms and then relax the head down. You can focus on that stretch around the shoulder blades if you want by really reaching those arms or focus on that folding by keeping those hips glued to the mat. But wherever you are, relax the head. Focus on the breath in each posture to make sure we're relaxing. And then release, inhale, coming up. Roll the shoulders back, sit up nice and tall. Let's just squeeze those shoulder blades, reversing this. So reach those arms behind you, fingertips point back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then drop the chin towards the chest for a breath or two. Last breath and then release. All right, doing a lot of hips and lower back today. So let's go to our hands and knees first. So however you want to get there. Remember, we can always take that blanket, unfold it, give ourselves that little bit of extra padding underneath our knees. We're going to start with our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. Spread your hands nice and wide. Really get a stretch through the palms, trying to press every inch of your palms into the mat. Remember to push out of the shoulders, a little bend in the arms so we're using the muscles and not the joints. When we're in this tabletop position, we always wanna relax so that the top of our feet are on the mat, we're engaging our core and our head is nice and neutral. We're gonna move into cat and cow variation. So tilting the hips up, relax the spine down and gently look up on the inhale. Exhaling, chin to chest, navel to spine, punching and rounding the back. And then release, inhale, looking up. Exhale, looking back, really chin to chest, punching the back all the way through. Now you can keep going with this inhale looking up, exhale looking back, or if you'd like, you can tilt your hips from side to side, wagging your tail per se, finding movement and length through the side body, or you can bring your hips towards your heels in a big full body circle all the way around, or you can do a combination of all three, whatever feels good. Remember, yoga is such a personal practice, so we really just want to focus in on how our body feels. How can we release any tension? How can we get our spine moving in the best way possible? And just taking a moment for your own movement, your own breath, and just enjoying the moment. Two or three more breaths.
listening to our bodies. All right, let's come back to that tabletop position. Working on those hips right away. We're gonna bring our arms out in front a little bit. And we're gonna come into pigeon. So that means we're gonna bring our left knee towards our left wrist, bringing that forward. Curl back those right toes so then you can kick your heel out and lengthen through that leg and then relax the top of the foot on the mat again. Now we can stay here with our left ankle under our hip and we can rock side to side if that feels good. If you want a little bit of an extra stretch, you can take that left ankle and shimmy it towards the right side. Now we have more options. We can stay and hold. We could come down to our forearms if that feels good. Or we can go all the way down so that our torso is resting on our leg and our head hits the mat or we make two fists and we stack it up. Wherever you are, we want to listen to our bodies. So if it ever feels uncomfortable, we can come out of it. We could bring our knee, our right knee closer by curling back our toes and releasing that hip a little bit. We could fall into it a little bit more, but we're just going to take a few breaths. The hips can feel really intense here. A lot of tingling sensations going on. But use this time, if you're all the way down, to feel the abdomen expand into the thigh. Nice deep breaths here. Remember, there's a lot of energy held in the hip area, so we want to try and relax and release it. But we never want to feel anything truly uncomfortable. Two more breaths. And then slowly coming up. So we'll bring our hands back towards our head. We'll push up nice and slowly. And then we're just going to lean and fall into that left side. So lean all the way over, relax the body. And we're going to swing that right leg around. You might have to adjust. We're going to come and sit with that left leg bent and that right knee is going to come up nice and tall. Now we can stay here, lifting up like this. If you want a little bit extra stretch through the outside of the hip, cross the leg over to the other side. Remember here, we want to shoot that hip down towards the earth so that we feel the stretch around the outside here. We can just stay here lifting up nice and tall, or if you want an extra twist, to take that left arm to the right knee and turn and look over the right shoulder. Personal preference, choosing the variation that works best for your body. Lift and lengthen through the crown of the head, relax the shoulders down. And again, taking deep breaths so we feel that abdomen pressing into the thigh. We're breathing all the way down to the belly. Keeping that right hip nice and connected to the mat. One more nice deep breath. And then release off that twist and then come across to the other side. Nice gentle counter twist. And then release. Uncross the legs. We're going to insert a little bit of a forward fold here. So stretch out those legs, lengthen them for a moment. Maybe you want to shake them out. Maybe you want to give them a little whoosh of energy down the legs here. Feels pretty good after all that stretching, okay? Two options. We can keep our legs straight or we can bend them. Before we do anything, take a moment, move the meat of the thighs to the side to find the sit bones. Wherever you are, this is a great variation to keep those knees bent. It allows us to lift up nice and tall. We're gonna inhale, lift the arms up. It's just a cue to lengthen through our spine and fold forward from our hips. Relax the arms down. If the knees are bent, feel free to tuck the arms underneath them, hugging the torso towards the thighs, relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. 
wherever you are, find length through your torso. Relax the head down. And take a few breaths here. Try to find a release through that lower back. If the legs are straight, you might feel it through the hamstrings or the calves. But again, making this practice your own, choosing the variation that works best for your body while focusing on alignment. One more breath here. Maybe you exhale and you reach a little bit more and then inhale and coming up. Roll those shoulders back and we're gonna turn and come onto our hands and knees again so that we can get back into pigeon. So moving nice and slow, arms out in front, knees underneath. You can leave that blanket there. You can move it to the side. Sometimes that extra padding feels really good. All right, reaching those arms out is step one. Right knee comes towards the right wrist. Curl back the left toes so that we can push that heel out and find a little bit more length and then relax that left foot. That part's not necessary. It's up to you. Again, right heel under the hip if that feels good and you can just rock from side to side gaining a little bit of stretch through the hips and then we level them out now you can stay there or shimmy your right foot out to the left side giving a little bit more stretch through the hips remember if we're in our arms push out Find that length through the arms and shoulders. Use the muscles or come down onto the forearms. Folding forward a little bit more. We're all the way down so that the torso is resting on the leg. Relaxing the head on the mat. We're stacking our fists. Giving us a little relief or maybe just one. Again, choosing the best variation for your body. And just taking a few breaths here. Checking in on those hips, being nice and level. If the head is on the mat, using it as a cue to relax the space between the eyes. If we're fully down in, in the full variation, feel that torso expand into the thighs, deep breaths all the way down through the belly. Two more breaths here. We'll slowly come back after the next breath. So the hands come back towards the head. We push up nice and slow. And then this time, just falling over to that right side. Let yourself relax. Swing that left leg around. Nice and slow. Maybe realign, readjust. Again, right knee's bent, left knee is up. We can stay here. This in itself is really great to lift through our spine, connecting our hips to the ground. Or if you want that extra bit, bring the leg across. So left leg crosses over, lift up nice and tall. Remember, we want that hip connected to the ground. We can stay here, or if you want that extra twist, Right elbow to the knee, lift and lengthen, and then turn and looking to the side direction. Big deep breaths here, especially in the twist. Really feel that abdomen expand into the thigh. Focus on that length in the spine more than anything else. Relax through the shoulders. And really press that hip into the mat. Nice, even pressure, feeling a stretch around the outside of the hip area here. Two more breaths. And then we'll release off the twist. Bring our arms to the other side if we were in the twist or just sitting up nice and tall. And then release. We'll unwrap those legs, same as before. Stretch them out. Shake them, maybe give them a pad or just a whooshing of energy down the legs. 
And then we're gonna choose whatever variation works best for you. If we have a blanket, the other option is to take that blanket, roll it up, and then tuck it underneath our knee. This really helps with sitting up nice and tall. Remember, we gotta move the meat of our thigh. This brings the attention to our lower back area. So we lift and lengthen, curl back those toes. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold from the hips. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders down. Remember, it's not about how far you reach. It's about having that length in our spine. Releasing the lower back if those knees are bent. Again, you can bring those arms underneath the knees if you'd like. Keep that blanket there. Or have the full variation with the legs outstretched. Having focus on the backs of the legs and the lower back at the same time. Taking a few more deep breaths. All right, reach, reach, reach on that last exhale and then inhale and come up. Roll the shoulders back, move that blanket to the side. And we're gonna do a little butterfly stretch. So bringing the feet together, let those knees hang open. If it's hard to sit up nice and tall, I want you to relax everything for a moment. Let those knees come up, relax the spine and then on the exhale we'll press the knees into the ground and we'll sit up nice and tall inhale we'll release okay so we'll use our breath as a cue to focus in on that alignment now how close your hips are to your heels is up to you if we can we're gonna hold and lengthen through that spine lift up nice and tall and press those knees down if we need a little bit extra and we want to fold forward with that length through our spine and use our arms to press our legs down, feel free. Choose the variation that works best for you. Coordinating our breath with the movement is a beautiful way to connect our mind with our body. Be present in this moment, releasing our hips. Just taking a few more breaths. Last breath, maybe you press into those knees a little bit more and then coming up. Bring the knees together. We're going to turn and come and lay on our back. So however you want to get there, if you want that extra little bit, keeping those knees up, arms out, and then rolling down nice and slow till our full back is on the mat. Take a moment, press your feet into the mat, hips distance apart, lift the hips up and let your lower back come nice and close to the mat. We're going to take a moment to relax every inch of the body. So hips, knees, and ankles are in alignment. Lower back is nicely pressed into the mat. Chin is slightly lifted towards the sky, allowing our neck to be in a neutral position. Hands are on the belly or palms up to the sky, or you could even have one hand on the heart and one on the belly. Wherever you are, just take a moment to check in with your breath. Is it still smooth, even, and continuous? Do we have that beautiful rise of the belly as we inhale, and then as we exhale, it naturally falls closer to the spine and the earth? Can we relax the space between the eyes just a little bit more? Or maybe soften through the jaw, or let the shoulders hang a little bit closer to the mat? Relaxing every inch of the body for a few more breaths. And then slowly coming back, 
Maybe gently opening the eyes. Reaching the arms overhead, find some length through the body, waking up just a little bit, and then release. We're going to work on the abs a little bit, knowing that helps support our lower back area. We have quite a few options. So we're going to extend that right leg out nice and long, pressing into our left foot. And we're going to lift it up overhead. Now, the first variation is just lifting and lowering our leg nice and slow. The second variation is lifting that leg up and then crunching and lifting the head, neck, and shoulders with the hands behind the head as we lower down. The other option, if we don't want to lift the head, neck, and shoulders and we want a little bit more of ab work, is we can take our left hand to our right shin as we lift the leg and then lower both the arm and leg together. So we're using different muscles as we reach the hand and the leg together. It's gonna be totally up to you. If you want even more with the arm and the leg, you can add that crunch in as you reach. All hits different variations of the abs. So this is a crunch with a big extension. If we're lowering the leg and crunching, that really focuses on those lower abs. Wherever you are, listen to your body, okay? Relax the head, neck, and shoulders if that feels good. Really think about squeezing those abs even if the head is on the ground. Nice full body movements here. We're going to do a few more, really using those abs, extending and lowering down nice and slow wherever you are. Beautiful. Let's do a couple more. Last one on this side. Reach, 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 and then lower down nice and slow. Maybe you want to reach both legs and arms out, finding that length through the abs for a second. And then we'll move into the other side. So lifting both knees up, make sure our lower back is nice and flat on that mat. Press into your right foot this time. Give yourself that solid base. Again, left leg extends. We can just lift and lower that leg nice and slow. Okay, that's the great option there. If you wanna challenge how your brain thinks, we can bring the hands behind the head and crunch as we lower down. This one's like kind of a brain teaser there. Or right hand overhead and bring the hand to the shin and then lower both arm and leg. This is a beautiful variation. Hitting all the abs, we can crunch and lift. We could have our hands supporting our head as we do this, reaching out. Or just keep the head on the ground and just use the arm and leg and really squeezing through, really taking our focus to the edge. Beautiful. Using all of our core, moving nice and slow. Getting quite a few variations in here. Doing a couple of reps as we really squeeze, okay? This is our core. We're using everything all at once. We're gonna build those muscles to strengthen our lower back as it's held on the mat. Reaching beautiful and lowering down nice and slow. Again, seeing that we can get all of that ab work in just by keeping our head, neck, and shoulders on the mat. It's about focusing in, using that gentle movements, Let's do two more. So wherever you are, getting that last bit in. One more. And then release. Bring that leg and arm down. Reach both legs. Find that length through the body. And then relax the body. Bring those knees back up. Bring the arms down, take a breath or two here, relax the lower back into the mat.
All right, we're gonna do one more, getting a little bit more core and ab work in. Now we can have the arms down the side of our body so that they're next to our body and we can press into the palms and shoulders. Or we can take our hands and bring them underneath our hips a little bit, mostly under our bottom. Brings our lower back nicely to the mat. And we're gonna bring our knees up like we were in that tabletop position. So just like we were when our hands and knees were on the mat, so those shins are parallel to the ground, engaging that core. So you might adjust and bring those hands under a little bit more. It's gonna be a lot just to keep the abs engaged right here. Now we're gonna reach that right leg out, like scooping it out and then bring it back. And then do the left side. So it's like half a bicycle. Keeping the hands underneath the hips really allows us to keep our lower back nice and relaxed and engaged. If you want that extra bit, that's when we'll release the arms and really have to use the core to keep everything engaged as we move our leg. Yep, if you want to do that full bicycle and you want to go one and then the other big extensions and slow movements, feel free. Just choosing the variation that works best for you. So this is a great way to really engage those lower abs just by doing one side at a time. And if you have that strength, big circles with those legs. If we're doing a full bicycle, we'll do it one direction and then the other for a few breaths, or we're just going to keep going one side and then the other, knowing that this is such a great variation for our bodies. All right, couple more breaths here. Do one more round of each side if you're doing one leg and then the other. And then draw those knees in. So release the hands from the hips, pull the knees in nice and tight. Stretch out that lower back. Hug them in super, super tight here. Maybe you rock side to side or you wanna circle a little bit one direction and then the other. And then release the legs back down, stretch them out nice and long, really find length through the abs for a moment, reaching the fingers down to the toes, length through the body. And then release, bring those knees back up. Relax the arms. Let's bring our hips, knees, and ankles in alignment one more time. Nice lower back, flat on the mat. And we're going to let our knees go to one direction and then the other. We're just going to warm up our hips and lower back here. So rolling onto the outside edge of one foot. If I'm going to the right, the outside edge of the right foot, the inside of the left foot. And that left hip will come off the mat a little bit. And then we'll come back to center and we'll roll onto the outside of the left foot and the inside of the right. And we're just moving our knees from side to side, keeping our feet in their direction. We're using our lower back movement, that spine to get those knees as close to the ground as possible. Not doing a twist yet, just warming up. Gentle movements from side to side, moving at your own pace. keeping everything nice and juicy. Remembering that our lower back and our hips affects our whole spinal health here. We wanna get some good alignment going. Let's do one more round from side to side. And then we'll come back to center and we'll draw those knees into the chest. Stretch out our lower back. I'm going to reverse blood flow for a couple of breaths. So we can let our feet hit the ground. And then we bring our arms right next to our body, arms down the side of your body. Remember, our chin is going to be lifted towards the sky, so it's in a neutral position. Press into the palms and shoulders. We're going to draw our knees to our chest. And then we're going to lift our feet up towards the sky. So we can have our toes pointed with our knees nice and soft, 
just reversing that blood flow. We do have to engage our abs to keep our lower back on the mat. If you want extra stretch here, you can try and kick your heels to the sky. If you want to reach, this is also a great place because we're going to hold it for a few breaths. You can take a strap and use it to help with your feet. So take it to the balls of the feet, and then we could be here stretching a little bit more while reversing that blood flow or coming all the way up. Personal choice, keeping those knees bent and the toes pointed towards the sky is a beautiful way to relax in this pose. Another way to do this is against a wall but it's just a really great thing to do every day by reversing that blood flow and sending everything back towards our heart. Taking two more breaths, really relaxing into it wherever you are. And then we'll release. So we'll bend the legs, draw the knees into the chest, hug them in nice and tight, really relax that lower back, stretch it out and then let our feet hit the floor. Coming into our final twist, always ending class with that nice final twist. Arms come out like a T where we press our palms and shoulders into the mat, or we bend our elbows and our palms come up towards our head and face the sky like a cactus or field goal post. It's gonna be whatever feels good for your shoulders, all right? From here, you can enter into your favorite twist or join me in creating an extra bit of space in the body by lifting the hips and moving them to one side. Then we draw our knees towards our chest and we let our knees hang across to the opposite side, letting our other shoulder peel up off the mat a little bit. Our goal is to stack our hips vertically. We can aid in that by grabbing a blanket or a block and bringing them between our knees or even taking that underneath our bottom knee. But we wanna relax our whole upper body here. We're using gravity to aid in the twist. If you want, you can turn and look the opposite direction for a full spinal twist. Just taking a few breaths here, really try to relax into it. See if you can stack those hips a little bit more. We're letting our breath return to its natural rhythm, taking it a little bit easier now. And we'll come back to center nice and slow. Moving back, lift the hips, bring them back to neutral. Maybe pause and take a moment to draw the knees in towards the chest, stretching at our spine before we let our feet hit the ground and move into the other side. So again, whatever arm variation feels best for you, palms and shoulders into the mat or palms to the sky, lifting the hips, move them to the opposite side, knees to chest, and then across and over. Again, stacking those hips vertically here, letting the other shoulder peel up off the mat if it has to. Completing that full twist by looking the other way, if that feels good. And just taking a moment to relax while opening up the body through gravity's help. Two more breaths here, releasing any tension you might feel. Before slowly moving back to center. Lifting those hips back to neutral, knees to chest one final time. Really hug everything in nice and tight. And then we'll stretch out the legs nice and long. Feet are at least hips distance apart. 
if not shoulder width or a little more. Let them dangle open to the side. We can have our palms facing the sky. Make sure to have a lot of space from the arms to the side of your body. Heads in a nice neutral position with that chin slightly lifted, resting the eyes. Remembering this pose is just as important as everything else we did today. We're allowing our body to reabsorb the energy we've moved around, giving our muscles a moment to relax. Closing the eyes, relax the space between them, soften through the jaw and the shoulders. As the limbs feel heavy into the earth, we allow our breath to return to its natural rhythm and just take a moment of breath. Remember, it's natural for your mind to wander. We want to let those thoughts pass by and just let go and then enjoy the space between them. We could also place one hand on our belly and one on our heart, drawing the focus to our body. If that ever causes any anxiety or stress, we can open our eyes and focus on something beautiful within our homes, something that brings us joy or peace. Just allowing ourselves to relax fully and enjoy the moment. Knowing we've carved this time out for ourselves today and we will enjoy every moment, every second, every minute. We'll start to slowly awaken our body by wiggling our fingers and our toes, rolling the wrist and the ankle. We reach the arms overhead like it's first thing in the morning. Again, finding length from our fingers to our toes. And then relaxing so we can lift one knee and then the other. Lifting the hips, move them to one side so we can roll over to the other. Moving nice and slow here. Maybe pausing to take a couple of breaths on the side. And then using that top arm, we'll gently push up into a seated position, moving nice and slow. No rush. Taking a moment. Resting the eyes. You can draw the chin towards our chest. If you'd like, you can circle, lifting the heart as we go forward and rounding the back as we come back. Exhaling as we round and then moving the other direction, just getting a little bit of movement through the spine, a little bit of energy moving through the body here. One more circle. Big stretch and then back to center. Roll those shoulders back, letting a smile wash over to carry you throughout the day. We'll inhale and lift those arms up overhead, reach through the body. And then exhaling, hands come down to the heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Namaste. Such a pleasure having you here today. <laughs> Oh.